In this lesson, we'll be discussing what reducing sugars are. The question reads, why is D-glucose called a reducing sugar? The Fisher model for D-glucose is shown right here. As you can see, glucose consists of one, two, three, four, five, six, six carbons, so it's a hexose. And at the very top right here, you'll notice a carbonyl group where you have hydrogen and carbon attached to this carbon, which means that it's an aldehyde. All aldehydes have this configuration. This tells us that glucose is an aldohexose. The reason why it's called D-glucose is because this carbon has its OH to the right. And this carbon is special because it's chiral and it's furthest away from the top and it has this OH bonded to it. So whenever you have the OH to the right of this carbon, then it's a D-glucose. Now they're asking, why is D-glucose a reducing sugar? Well, if we mix D-glucose with Benedict's reagent, Benedict's reagent is a compound that is used to react with the aldehyde group of a sugar. Before the reaction, it's blue, and it contains in it copper sulfate, sodium hydroxide, and a few other components. So when it's mixed with an aldose, the copper goes from being 2 plus to 1 plus. So we have a reduction in charge and electrons are gained, which means that a molecule is reduced. This is the reason why we call D-glucose a reducing sugar, because it has this capability to make the copper go from copper 2 plus to copper plus. In question number two, a solution containing a tablet of Benedict's reagent turns brick red with a urine sample. What might this result indicate? If urine is turning brick red after the solution is added, that likely means that there is sugar found in the urine. And if there's sugar found in the urine, that's an indication of some sort of complication, such as diabetes or other kidney issues. So a brick red color of Benedict's reagent tells us that there's a high level of reducing sugars, probably glucose in the urine, and that's not a good thing. And so there you have it, a quick discussion on reducing sugars.